Ah. Right then, <coughs> here I am again, this time with a diddly bow guitar. And I say at the beginning, you may hear uh, sounds in the background, that's my dishwasher. Right, um, a diddly bow guitar. I first came across these things um, whilst looking into cigar box guitars. Uh, for those who don't know, they are essentially just sort of like a one string fiddle, but a one string guitar. Um, this one I made, I thought, well, I'll have a go, see what happens. Um, and I made this one, This I have actually put two strings on this for reasons I'll explain in a minute. Um, what have I made it from? Same old thing, rubbish from the workshop really. The two bits of uh, the notes and the bridge, they are um, bits of draw slider. Uh, the resonator here, you'll see better this way up, it's actually a, a, a dog's dinner bowl which I got from a charity shop. Uh, there's a piezo microphone but uh, the fact that it's not properly stuck down, just held on with masking tape might just give you a clue as to what you're going to hear next. Um, the machine heads, uh, admittedly I bought those, uh, they came from China. Um, the piezo came from China. Uh, the, there are no frets, uh, but I've got these fret markings which I've taken from a ready-made fretboard that I've got, which I'm going to make a three-string uh, cigar box guitar out of. Um, the reason that uh, I put two strings on it was, well, uh, why not? Now, there are people who can get a tune out of a one-string fretless instrument. I have seen it done on YouTube and I am full of admiration for these people uh, but I am not one of them sadly. Uh, but, uh, but there you are, so uh, it sounds awful I think anyway, listen. Uh, I've tuned it to, um, that's an E and that's a B which is the bottom two strings of a, a guitar tuned to an open E which is what I usually play in. You start using the bottle on it. Uh, As you can see, it's not very nice. Now, I put two strings on because, um, well, it's as easy to put two on as one. And I thought that like, just like um, playing a violin, uh, the other thing you see about how you play it, I saw a chap hitting it with a stick. And I've got this, which actually, I don't know what it is, it's some sort of little server, that's a picture of a fish, a few holes in it. And I, I don't know, unless it's for scooping up caviar or something, but the caviar it falls over the holes, I don't know what it's for. But, the thing is, held that way, <laughs> I like this idea of drumming on a string, but nobody seemed to do it. And then I saw this guy doing it with a one string fiddle. Uh, sorry, one string, a diddly bow guitar. And I thought, well, just like a violin, you know, same thing, you can hit it that way, and you've got one note, and hit it that way, and you've got another. So, and the only other instrument I know where you have this sort of hitting the strings is a zither, which is an instrument I'm not terribly. Not my keen on. It's like a xylophone, it's there and if you play it well and good, but it just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Well. What's it sound like with this? Just as dreadful really. Well, I'm sure somebody um, would be able to get a tune out of it eventually. Shame I'm not one of them. So this is going to get recycled as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is uh, the timber that it's made from. Uh, this is a wood which has been highly prized by luthiers down the ages. Uh, it is in fact the wood that you get from the uh, medium density fiberboard tree. One thing you can say about, about this though, listen. You can... <laughs> 
Yeah, it's good for tremolo. But uh, I think that's probably um, because it's the, the strength it's there, it's probably flexing on these narrow bits. Um, and at least, if, not, if all else fails, I have learnt that um, MDF, if you're going to use that for guitar necks and bodies, um, you see, I mean, it's 18mm thick, this, which is, you know, as thick as the maple is on my electric guitar, so my store bought electric guitar. Um, so you'd think, wouldn't you, that it'd be strong enough, but obviously no, it needs reinforcing and I've got some steel, so it's really this little video is just uh, a case of um, uh, notes for anybody who's considering making one. Uh, you've seen the result of mine, um, not terribly clever and I shan't be keeping it, but at least I've done it and there it is for what it's worth. Bodger's notes if you like. <laughs> right. So much for that, we'll see what that looks like. Back in a minute.